By the way, who stipulated that Liyue people should work hard to earn mora, isn't it happy to lie flat and live? Gu Sancho said that he had just traveled and had a big house on Fayunpo, and there was also an official establishment. His life has already been very fulfilling. This book is also known as Xian Yu Xinjuan, O Huang Lies and Wins Xinjuan, The Fierce Man Ignoring the Snowy Clouds, about seven stars trying to pull me out for crazy overtime, non hardcore players, welcome to add more details about the character's plot in the comments section. Those who pursue a one shot kill boss, please bear with us. In addition, the African Emperor Sher Hammer hopes that all the leaders can add some voice and story details of the characters. Wishing all travelers the best of luck in every draw, with the golden light always present, enhanced without distortion, and a soft grip on the double explosive, manual dog head protection. Keywords Ginchin Impact, Tivit Keywords of the Novel Ginchin Impact, Liu, the incense offerer, has no pop.up window, download the complete works of Ginchin Impact, Liu, the incense offerer, txt, read the latest chapters of Ginchin Impact, Liu, the incense offerer. Chapter 1 Old Friends of Qianyan Army You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Old Friends of Qianyan Army, Gu Sancho, Gu Xiangjuan, let me ask you again. May I ask why you secretly go out at night to disrupt public security, and even engage in a series of behaviors such as breaking into residential buildings and randomly digging landscape pools? So, probably because. I want to find a treasure chest. In the interrogation room, a man dressed in ancient attire with a serious expression instantly broke through. Who would put treasure chests in those places in this era? Do you think those places are even safer than Li Yu's major banks? What kind of mentality is that? Asterisk, dish asterisk, um, don't be angry. Look, I was able to be very careful not to be discovered by the public this time. After all, it's also because your Qianyan army's education was meritorious, right? Do you mean that our Qianyan army has educated a gradually outstanding thief? S said degree, degree, I I, no, 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 I didn't mean that. I made a slip of the tongue, please don't worry about this issue. The young man in a black robe waved his hands repeatedly, showing a pleasing smile. Um, may I ask if I can leave now? Where do you want to go? Are you going to dig your so dot called treasure chest? I think your next step is to go directly to the golden house, right? Hey, this is slander, pure slander. Forget it, I won't argue so much with you. The man in armor had a tired expression on his face and didn't want to speak. He raised his right hand and waved it towards the door. The usual procedure is to stay in the confinement room for three days. Gu Sancho was lifted up with an honest expression on his face. Although he said that his operation was indeed somewhat abnormal, he still dared not attack the police on the territory of the Qianyan army. Hey buddy, what a coincidence. Did you also come to jail? In the confinement room, a long-haired girl gently swung her legs and waved to Gu Sancho as she walked in. Our sect leader noticed that you are also an energetic person. How about it? Are you interested in booking a special set of services for the rebirth hall? In view of our friendship, I can offer you a 20% discount, and as long as you book our special service at the Shengsheng Hall, even if you die in Suejua Slope, Tianxiu Valley, or even a corner of the clouds, I can still bring you back. The girl wearing a black hat lightly tapped her index finger on her chin and said, if you have any additional needs, perhaps the abbot can also give you a joyful funeral package. Hee <laughs> hee, perhaps this is also a direction for business expansion. We're all in the confinement room now, so there's no need to consider these things, right? I didn't expect to meet you today, so, Gu Sancho took out a beautifully shaped box from his arms, carved with mora and dragon patterns. Keep the program. Ho 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 ho, come on, come on, let you know our sect leader's prowess. So, three days later, to three. Rocket. Gu Sancho looked up at the girl in front of her expressionlessly and said, Can you explain it? Show off your aura, 
This is the aura of the master of the immortal hall. That's okay. Gu Sancho placed the card in his hand in front of the girl's eyes. Next, how can the Great Walnut Hall finish playing the cards? MMM, Hu Tao pouted and observed the two sets of cards in his left and right hands, then lifted his head to secretly scrutinize Gu Sancho. Don't think about it. Since you played the trick of swapping two cards last time, as long as you're a farmer, I'll keep an eye on you until you play. Gu Sancho held a string of wild mushrooms and chicken in his mouth and said, By the way, Shushing Tang is not far from eating tiger rock. Why don't you bring food with you every time you are locked up? You always eat my free food. I don't have the convenient ability you have. So, how did you do that move, God's eye? Walnut grabbed the card with both hands, and a white and clean, large water drop came out behind him. He picked up the golden shrimp ball's ball with rich aroma and gently fed it to Walnut's mouth. MMM this taste, this is the limited monthly supply of large dot-sized tiger shrimp from Xinyue Xian, it's delicious. Well, I will send the bill. Hello. With a quick turn of the Walnut's eyes, he threw all his cards on the ground and brought the nearby dish closer to him. We are all good friends. It's too much to charge me even for a plate of golden shrimp balls. The walnut puffed up his cheeks with anger, and then put the remaining golden shrimp balls into his mouth with both hands. It's not like going to the forest. Swallow it before speaking. You have already mentioned the monthly limited supply of ingredients. If I can provide you with such fresh food in the confinement room, confiscating your service fee would be considered good. Gu Sancho's face was expressionless. Eat my golden shrimp balls, and also break my cards. What's the difference between you and those repentant masters in the port? It's okay, you two should not have this opportunity next time. The two of them froze in expression, their heads neatly aligned as they looked towards the door of the confinement room. A tall and sturdy figure was holding hands and staring at themselves. Oh, Coach Fang Shi too, long time no see, Hu Tao waved his hand enthusiastically and said, I brought a lot of food for Sancho. Would you like to come and eat some together? Don't listen to her talk nonsense. Gu Sancho stood up at lightning speed and shook the other person's hand with a smile on his face. Coach Fang Pan has gone out to work hard, and your journey has been tiring. You have come tirelessly to release us two criminals, which has made me extremely anxious and fearful. I don't know what to say about you. Fong Pan sighed and then pointed outside, let's go, it's time for confinement. I hope we don't see you two again next time. Even confinement doesn't allow you to be in the same room. Come here for vacation, right? Hey, okay, okay, let's go right away. I gestures JPG Hu Tao stood up in a clumsy manner, while also cleaning up the garbage with a great sense of morality, and gave Gu Sancho a thumbs up. Full of tacit understanding JPG Fong Pan held a weapon in his hand and couldn't help but sigh with exhaustion as he watched the two of them walk away together. Alas, you say, one is the contemporary master of the Rebirth Hall, and the other is the only descendant of the Liyue Fengxiang lineage. Whatever it is, whatever it is. Hey, Coach Fong, I think these two younger generations are quite fun, at least not like those other aristocratic masters, right? Young, why bother making a fuss? As long as it's not a principled mistake, it's one of the pleasures that will be remembered in the future. Fong Pan's face changed and he looked sharply at the subordinate next to him. Stinky kid, during those days when I was out on business, did you slack off and listen to books? Tell me honestly. Don't I understand you guys yet? With your level of education, can you say such a sour word? After scolding and leaving his subordinates, Fang Pan couldn't help but sigh as they left. The lineage of Fengxiang and Huishengtang are both ancient aristocratic families that have been passed down from ancient times. Unfortunately, they have become desolate even today. If it weren't for one or two old books at home, he wouldn't have known about them. Time has indeed diluted everything. Don't send the bill or anything like it to the funeral hall. Goodbye, 
Hu Tao extended her hands and made a slightly curved, super fierce, gesture, while Gu Sanxiu yawned and waved his hand before heading towards his own home. Taking a shower, changing clothes, and dressing up neatly, Gu Sancho held three pillars of incense with a solemn expression and respectfully inserted them into the cauldron in front of him, engraved with patterns of mountains, rivers, birds, and animals. Emperor Yen, bless and bless. Gu Sancho's mouth was askew. Zhong Li's good brother, Zhong Li and his brother, bless you. For the sake of inviting your master to eat the limited edition golden shrimp balls rolls, bless me for shipping tonight. After jokingly speaking, Gu Sancho burned incense candles twice again, carefully recited the secret confession and prayer of the Gu family, and finally walked out of this fragrant and solemn room. So, let's see what good things we'll get tonight. Gu Sancho gently moved forward with his left hand, and a black void vortex appeared in front of him. Master Zhongli, bless me with a golden light. Tomorrow, I will definitely take care of the business of the funeral hall. If possible, I will buy a few coffins at a high price and use them to set fire. Gu Sancho shook his right hand and a pure golden fishing rod appeared in his hand. With a gentle flick of his wrist, the slender fishing line fell into the vortex, demonstrating the depth of his martial arts. I hope you can give me something interesting. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Messages from Important NPCs you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Messages from Important NPCs Gu Sancho shook his arm heavily and pulled the fishing line out of the vortex. Yo ho, let me see what I can do this time. After seeing the familiar blue light emanating from the vortex mouth, Gu Sancho's enthusiastic expression on his face instantly collapsed. Well, should we still send the bill to Shersheng Tang tomorrow? Unexpectedly, a familiar resistance came from the fishing rod. Gu Sancho skillfully pulled and released it, and soon caught the object emitting blue light inside. Item 100 Forged Water Grain Black Iron Origin Beihai Introduction Mineral veins hidden deep in the seabed are repeatedly subjected to forging under the control of water pressure and the water flow of the Great Demon, making them good materials for crafting sharp weapons. It's this kind of thing again. Gu Sancho looked disgusted and said, I've been tired of making iron lately. Is this really growing up? I can no longer do things as I please. Well, it's just because I can't avoid the resentment of the blue sky and white clouds. Having nothing to say all night, after waking up and taking a shower, Gu Sancho, who carried a hint of incense, walked out of the room as usual. Good morning, Master Mao you'd better give me an identical one. Ha ha ha, Gu, it's getting late now. This young man from Liyue Airport probably wakes up the latest. In the Wanmin Hall, Master Mao laughed heartily and prepared two portions of Mora meat and one portion of Wawatu for Gu Sancho. The young people who come to Liyue Airport all want to wake up early to earn a lot of money, so that they can also have a place to brag when they go home. You stinky kid, you are the opposite of them. Harmful, anyway, my whole family is not hungry right now. As for earning money, I don't have such an urgent need. Gu Sancho took a big bite of mora meat, which emitted the fragrance of the sun and flames as well as the juicy and thick meat filling. The craftsmanship of Wanmintang made Gu Sancho temporarily forget about today's work. Let's go, Master Mao. Business is thriving. Gu Sancho retreated without even giving any money. Since Wan Min Hall became his cafeteria, Master Mao generously allowed Gu Sancho to settle his bills on a monthly basis, making it much more convenient for this person who is accustomed to mobile payments. Of course, Master Mao is not a fool either. He was able to do this purely because of his identity as a worshipper of incense. Face is given to each other, and Gu Sancho is not the kind of person with emotional intelligence who urgently needs recharging. The monthly meal money is always delivered to the Wan Min Hall on time. Unless locked in a confinement room. Call out. Gu Sancho let out a gentle breath, and a piece of paper with golden edges appeared in his left hand. He then handed it to the waiter outside the Hall of Rebirth. 
Come on, give this to your master, or any guest, they know what it means. Okay, Xiang Juan. The male waiter took the white paper with a smile on his face and threw it into the burning brazier next to Gu Sancho. Dot. Sorry, Xiang Juan. Before setting off for Wawangpo today, the master said that any paper you hand out must be burned in front of you. Please don't make it difficult for me. Do you still have this kind of operation? In order to avoid debt, you actually ran to Wawangshan. Gu Sancho's mouth twitched for a moment. Although there was not much business in Shirshing Tang on weekdays, it was just a superficial phenomenon. After all, there was still a grave as big as Wawanpo waiting for Hu Tao to clean up. It's just that there are some things that are not suitable for being exposed in the sight of ordinary people. Okay, she's tough. Gu Sancho shook her head and said, when she comes back, help me take a message. The matter you asked me about last time is already over. Let your master find a time to come over. Okay, Mr. Gu. Yu Jingtai, an old woman with a hunched body smiled at the scene of people coming and going. Not long after, her eyebrows furrowed and her wrist trembled lightly. A small porcelain cup flew towards the stone railing to her right. Ding, after a light noise, the porcelain cup did not shatter on the stone railing. Instead, it drew a perfect arc in the air and once again landed on the table in front of the old man. In no time, a sneaky-looking guy poked his head out from behind the stone railing, his originally smooth hair becoming slightly messy as he climbed. I said, Xiao Gu, every time you come to my place to drink tea, can't you walk over seriously? Yujing Terrace is not without a well-built road. Hee hee, Grandma Ping, I just went to the ancestral hall. Besides, there's no way I can climb up that road faster. Gu Sancho patted the dust on his body and said, it seems that I didn't clean the Yujing Terrace very carefully. Poor my clothes. Just a few words less, it's not that easy to clean up Yujing Terrace, let alone the place you came up from is not within the scope of cleaning. Grandma Ping poured a cup of tea for Gu Sancho and said, there is a lineage of people who offer incense. I've seen an old lady before, but it's the first time I've seen someone as leisurely as you. Oh, this thing doesn't seem to work on the surface, what's important is the inside, the inside. Gu Sancho touched her conscience and said, without a doubt, I have done it very well. Ha, huh, including several times being detained by the Qianyan army. Um, has this matter become widely known? Have you ever been widely known? You should be the one who knows the best. Grandma Ping added a cup of tea to Gu Sancho and said, Also, it seems like someone has been inquiring about your information lately. Ah. Gu Sancho raised his eyebrows and a hint of, I am very interested, appeared in his eyes. How did you know about this, Grandma? Grandma Ping, one of the giants who only demonstrated her strength in the battle of the demon god Asil, is known as the true lord of Gichen Lang city, and is a serious ancient immortal. But on the surface, she is still an elderly woman sunbathing on Yijintai. Well, it's probably like a small vendor in a scenic spot setting up a stall and chatting with friends. Just like he didn't tell Hu Tao that your guest is the Emperor of Rock, since they didn't even want to expose their identity, Gu Sancho naturally wouldn't be idle and cause trouble for himself. So the question is, why did Grandma Ping deliberately tell herself about this matter? As a descendant of the lineage of incense worshippers, it is difficult to guarantee that there is no hidden information passed down from the Gu family. Why did Grandma Ping tell herself these things as an ordinary old lady? The little one who inquired about your news also has some fate with the old lady. She is not a bad person, just a reminder for you. Do you have some fate with Grandma Ping? As a member of the fairy, there are many people who have a long life and some fate with her. Gu Sancho really can't guess who it is. Grandma Ping smiled and took back Gu Sancho's teacup, saying, Go to work quickly, kid. Young people still need to work hard. Hee <laughs> hee, Master Mao told me the same thing today. Gu Sancho smiled helplessly and said, Since you've said that, it seems a bit unreasonable for me not to go to work. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 
a glitter of red in the eyes. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 A glitter of red in the eyes Gu Sancho's job could not have been sitting in an office, but once again flipping over the stone railing and returning home. Tisk, forging iron means I have to go to the gate. There's no comfort in Liu Airport when I go out. Gu Sancho took off his long robe, tied up his hair, and changed into a short coat. He pressed several hidden buttons on the wall and walked into the basement. Unlike in the game, the Liu Airport in the game seems to have been sanctioned by the map scale. The real Liu Airport has a quite vast area, not much smaller than a typical port city. Of course, this also means that Gu's family, who owns a standalone high gate courtyard, can have more space to play in the underground area. When, 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 the rhythmic sound of metal and iron clashing echoed in front of Gu Sancho, and the seemingly carefree incense worshipper was seriously tapping the iron ingot in front of him. Faced with the splashing sparks, he didn't hide at all. The raised lines on his back and hands indicated that he was not a weak scholar with no strength to bind his hands, but rather had some real skill in his hands. There is really some truth to this hundred forged iron. Watching the blue-purple mist rising from the iron ingot, Gu Sancho frowned tightly. I thought it was just a product of heaven and earth, and a group of people who had not experienced quality education gave me strange words. I didn't expect there was really something inside. So, what the hell is there in the North Sea? Is there really some kind of established country that is dominated by monsters? Even with a regular stove, everything inside this iron ingot should be burned out, not to mention his carefully crafted stove and charcoal fire. This kind of fog. Gu Sancho hesitated for a moment, but still stopped the urge to come up and smell it. Although he had a good relationship with Hu Tao, he didn't want to become a customer of Shirsheng Tang in the short term. Besides, the Sodot called North Sea Demon Kingdom is not afraid of it when it comes to reason. Even if there is such a place, if he has the ability, he will come to Tivit to trouble Gu Sancho, there is currently no news from a guy who collects harems everywhere, and it is estimated that the timeline has not yet reached when a certain emergency food is caught. No matter what the future holds, the big shots at the demon god level will not have too many concerns when they take action like in the future. Could you trouble Li Yu with an official employee? Tiandong Wanxiang warning. Gu Sancho, who had figured it out, no longer hesitated. Instead, he casually hammered down, directly turning the mist entangled on the iron ingot into nothingness. The preliminary forging is completed, we'll wait until tonight. Gu Sancho's two fingers gently brushed over the hot anvil, his expression full of seriousness. I will definitely do what I promised you, don't worry. Late at night, Gu Sancho changed into a nighttime outfit and rushed out of the house carrying a small backpack. Along the way, he lightly tiptoed and quickly brushed past buildings. If we maintain this speed, the Qian Yan army who defend the city daily will never be able to catch up with him. To catch him, we probably need someone with divine eyes. Well, the data I usually calculate is indeed useful. If it's inconvenient to divide the path of flying eaves and walls into different directions, the road I've measured now is definitely the fastest. Alas, the Gu family's lineage has never stopped these days. In mid-air, Grandma Ping watched as Gu Sancho raced towards the outside of Liu Airport, and couldn't help but sigh lightly. How to say that the Gu family was once the leader of the Xianmen sect? but it was only by following the emperor's decree that they transformed into a lineage of incense worshippers, guarding some of the worldly incense for us. A slightly hoarse voice sounded beside Grandma Ping, how about I call a few subordinates to follow and protect him? No need, there are also many secrets about Gu Xiaozi. A hint of strangeness flashed in Grandma Ping's eyes. So far, I haven't even seen Gu's divine eye, nor have I noticed any elemental power in him. How could this be possible? Although it has been so many years, every generation of the Gu family has someone who can carry the cauldron. Why is that kid someone who doesn't even have a divine eye? According to the detailed response rules about the god's eye that the emperor once said, does that kid have no desire in his heart? 
And, without elemental power and divine eyes, can one reach his speed? This is also where I'm curious. Grandma Ping smiled and said, find a smart little guy who knows magic and follow along. I also want to see what Gu wants to do if he doesn't sleep at night. Outside the city, Gu Sancho took a photo of the package behind him and did not catch the attention of the secret guards outside the harbor while shuttling through the woods. Where are there so many secret sentries? There hasn't been much big happening lately, have there? Gu Sancho frowned. It's considered good to come across two or three hidden sentries when going out, but the number we encounter today has doubled, and anyone can tell there's a problem. Phew, after arriving at the agreed location, Gu Sancho made a strange gesture and took out a whistle from his arms. The whistle, similar to the chirping of a bird, becomes hoarse and unpleasant after passing through the gestures, as if feeling the stench of a thousand-year-old foot wrap from the perspective of sound. Hey, you're such a good kid. In front of him, four guys wearing night clothes also revealed their figures, and they looked at Gu Sancho, who was carrying a backpack, with a greedy smile. So, have you brought the things we requested? It's all here. Gu Sancho threw his luggage at the feet of these guys and said, So, according to the agreement, return the things to me. My eldest young master, we who make a living outside are very hard working. In order to help you preserve your goods, we have been living hard in the mountains and forests for several days. The leader took out a dagger flickering with a faint blue light from their arms and, step by step, pushed it towards Gu Sancho with their companions. So, the only descendant of the Liyue Gu family should be worth a lot of money. Young master, why don't you come with us? Sigh. Gu Sancho sighed and said, Indeed, it has declined. You petty thieves dare to show off your strength. But I didn't intend to communicate with you normally either. To preach to the members of your treasure stealing group, this kind of inexperienced operation is probably only done by abnormal humans. Before the members of the treasure stealing group could react, Gu Sancho's figure instantly disappeared from their eyes. However, when they realized it, a pitch black darkness gradually occupied their eyes. What is one step slower than the conscious response is the intense pain from the body, the pain in the throat, and the last bright red in the eyes all represent one thing. Am I, dead? Don't worry, everyone. My knife is very fast, definitely at the level of painless kidney cutting, and it doesn't even require ice cubes. After all, if I cut you to death at once, I won't be able to use the ice. Gu Sancho wiped the iron block in his hand, and a small part in front was full of blood. The originally blue iron ingot shimmered with an eerie red light. Hee hee, do these idiots also want to engage in blackmail? Gu Sancho kicked the head of one of the guys away and carefully searched the bodies of the others. Yo ho, I found it. Gu Sancho raised his eyebrows and felt a hard lump on the thigh of a member of a treasure stealing group. I knew you guys wouldn't trust anyone else but I never expected you to sew this thing into your body. With five fingers forming claws, Gu Sancho grabbed a large gap in the opponent's thigh and pulled out a golden stone with red patterns from inside. End of work. Gu Sancho snapped his fingers, and a sound of flapping wings came from afar. A group of birds of different colors landed neatly near the corpse. Don't let go of any piece of meat, and don't waste any drop of blood. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Letters from Walnuts. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Letters from Walnuts Gu Sancho didn't leave directly, instead he sat on a stone and watched quietly as the flock of birds he had recruited pecked at the members of the treasure stealing group. Gaga. The leading black bird gently wiped its beak in the nearby grass, jumped onto Gu Sancho's shoulder, and affectionately arched half of his face, signaling that they had finished their meal. Species Giant Shadow Sculpture Origin 263 Biological Weapon Research and Development Institute Introduction A hybrid species of shadow eagle and glowing hummingbird, with high loyalty and scouting ability, and extremely high military value. Note 
It has been strongly condemned by animal rights activists, but little do they know that these biological weapons are a major reliance to protect them from making reckless remarks. Hee hee, it's been a while since we last met. This is for you. Gu Sancho flipped his wrist and a pill shimmering with treasure light was stuffed into the mouth of the giant shadow eagle. Gaga. The giant shadow eagle wing, who had taken a pill, called out twice, and with a slight lift on Gu Sancho's shoulders, flew back into the darkness with its own subordinates. Grandma Ping frowned in the distance and said, This is. This is the newly appointed bird king in Tianheng Mountain and Lisha suburb. I didn't expect it to be raised by this kid. The hoarse voice was tinged with a hint of surprise, I even said, how could that little bird be so good at fighting? It took me a while to get that level of treasure pill. The lineage of people offering incense is truly worthy of being the former leader of the Xianmen sect. I feel a bit tempted to see this treasure pill. However, it's also good. This proves that although the Gu family's lineage has been passed down to this day, their skills have not declined. Have you ever seen that black little guy? I have seen it. At that time, the bird king in that area was attacked by evil forces and used several evil techniques to make blood sacrifices with the birds in that area. I was supposed to handle this matter, but I didn't expect to be directly killed by this little guy. Hee <laughs> hee, Xiaogu is really interesting. Grandma Ping said with some surprise, you can cut open the throats of these guys with an iron block, even those skilled swordsmen in the sect are not easy to do. Not bad, not bad. He's a good kid. Let your subordinates leave. Since Xiaogu is not someone without self-protection ability, we don't have to keep an eye on him all day. With a hint of smile in her eyes, Grandma Ping said, this stinky kid, if it weren't for his old age and some skills, he might have really deceived him. It's clear that I have the ability. Hmm. The hoarse voice was softly beeping, but was immediately suppressed by Grandma Ping's gaze. However, although tidying up a few mortals is indeed enough, for today's humans, without the eye of God, it is ultimately impossible to touch a higher level of the world. Hee <laughs> hee, this has nothing to do with my old age. Grandma Ping slowly descended and said, This is Li Yue, a vibrant Li Yue. Who can say for sure about young people? This the source of the hoarse voice remained silent for a moment. Forget it, for the sake of your family's hard work for generations, at most I will take some care of you in the future. Hey, don't walk so fast. It's rare for me to come. How about treating me to a cup of tea? Bypassing the guards, Gu Sancho slipped back home with a golden stone in his arms, carefully packed it in a beautiful brocade box and brought it into the incense offering room, gently placing it into the large cauldron that contained the incense ash. Ancestors and ancestors are present, and the Gu family is offering incense. Today, the Three Autumn Festival brings back the fire vein, gold, and stones to the incense cauldron, witnessed by our ancestors and immortals. Gu Sancho said in a loud voice, there are still doubts about the case of Huomai Jinshu. Just a few days ago, several treasure-stealing groups attempted to use it to blackmail younger generations. It is completely unknown what kind of treasure they are hiding. To investigate the information, the younger generation can only remain calm and investigate the forces behind these individuals first. Unfortunately, these guys are not important figures, even the fire vein gold and stone are like gemstones picked up from the roadside. This situation is suspicious, I will definitely investigate it. Ancestors witness, immortals witness. After a deep bow, Gu Sancho walked out of the incense offering room and sat down against a large tree. The fire vein gold and stone are important in family classics, but they were obtained with intent and extortion by those useless people, and there are too many doubts. Pop. After a snap of her fingers, flames shot up, and Gu Sancho took a deep breath, covering the crescent moon in the sky with a thin layer of white gauze. Brother, I have done my utmost in benevolence and righteousness. At most, I can help you with your matter here. As for the cause of your death, I will continue to investigate. I will live on as you and guard everything you cherish. 
As soon as she finished speaking, Gu Sancho felt her body light and even more relaxed when she waved her arms. Body control level. 100% soul state. Two souls merge into one, and reincarnation accompanies forever. Bang 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 bang. Gu Sancho raised his eyebrows, which was a common knocking sound, but when he appeared at the Gu family late at night, he wanted to be mistaken. Unlike other wealthy families in Fei Yunpa, he is the only one in the Gu family now. Two or three big cats and kittens can be considered absurd praise, so there will naturally be no dirty adult transactions. It's so late, I really want to see what kind of guy dares to knock on my door. Gu Sancho opened a gap and said, Who is it? A gentle breeze blew slowly from the empty door. So, isn't that a normal species knocking on the door? Is there such a good thing? Gu Sancho became excited and casually threw his self-defense axe behind him, then pulled out a revolver from his waist. Item. Demon subduing left will origin. Hunli Continent Note. Combining Chinese and Western Medicine 999, for colds, go for a walk quickly, I've been here for so long, but my knowledge hasn't increased much. I've never seen anything sinister before. Hurry up and let me see it. Gu Sancho has never had a rough understanding of his own strength, only knowing that it is easy to kill the minions of the hammer-stealing treasure group. As for those who possess the unique skills of a family or sect, I really don't know. The only thing I can encounter now is a walnut, and it's impossible to let others fight me for no reason. So, Gu Sancho is very excited now, especially excited, wishing to jump out of a sinister army and let him play unparalleled games now. Pada, a letter fell from mid-air, with the main body painted black and red, causing Gu Sancho to frown. This is the special fire paint for the Hall of Rebirth. That is to say, the one who sent the message to himself was the guy from Walnut. Isn't she on Wawangpo? Gu Sancho opened the letter and said, or should we say that this guy has finally been taken away by the Lord and can use a good thing like a teleportation anchor directly? My friend, it's been a long time since I last saw you. I miss you very much, master. Ah. Are you pretending to have amnesia to avoid paying bills these days? Gu Sancho's mouth twitched, what is, long time no see? Has it been more than three days since they last met? I still remember when we went shopping together, bought clothes together, and shared a room to dress each other up beautifully. The master of this hall really misses that period of time. Hello, hello, this plot is already moving in an outrageous direction. Okay, this is definitely a letter rather than a strange novel that was just a random imagination. After shopping and buying clothes, dressing up with walnuts and still in the same room. If there had been such a strange unfolding, I would have been tied to the rock ridge by Grandpa Zhong and sunk into the Yunlai Sea, going to play cards with Asso. My friend often travels outside and comes to sit in the hall when he has time. The hall master misses you. Tisk. Gu Sancho put the left will back and said, so, the messenger, or the messenger guy, like the Chiu Chiu. This letter, which was completely out of place, was delivered to him at this moment, with no doubt only one possibility. This is some kind of emergency mechanism that Walnut Pre. set in the Hall of Rebirth. And by imagining the other person's current position, one can imagine what this really means. Did the walnut hit something on Wawangpo? Gu Sancho furrowed his brow. As a descendant of the offering of incense and also a sect that had once protected one side, the cooperation between the Gu family and the Shirshing Hall had been going on for some time. It seems like a trip. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Embarking on Wawangpo you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Embarking on Wawangpo, ah, I knew I would have pulled the old man up long ago. It's not good to have fixed thinking. Gu Sancho brushed past rows of trees and headed straight towards the direction of Wu Wu Slope. Since receiving the cry for help from Hu Tao, Gu Sancho simply received his daily check that I N gift and tidied up for the night on the road. After coming out, 
he realized that he had been hiding from Zhongli all along, purely because his soul had not yet merged. If he were to be seen as a guest from another world, it would be a great pleasure. Now that the two souls have merged into one, as long as he doesn't speak up, he is, accepting everything, and, as safe as a rock. Zhongli can only see that he is a mentally abnormal inheritor of the offering of incense. But it's already too late to remember now. It's better to turn around and call for someone to continue on the road now. Anyway, the entire Li Yue is in the master's territory, and he really doesn't believe that Master Zhong can watch the walnut go wrong. Su Su, a sound of grass and trees flipping appeared behind Gu Sancho, followed by green missiles flying towards him. No wonder they say that ordinary people have the courage to handle this. Gu Sancho took out his golden fishing rod and shattered the green projectile that flew over. However, if we encounter a large slime group, it may not even be easy to capture the Qianyan army. Gu Sancho turned around and a bright red light flashed through his pupils. The pressure from the corresponding element instantly frightened the three slimes and they flew back, never stopping Gu Sancho from advancing. Elemental power, this thing is ultimately Tibet's most core thing, but logically speaking, slime's immunity to the same element is a bit illegal. Quickly forward to Rebirth as the God of Slim and the Diary of the Cultivation of the Divine Slim, and then come up with a set of elemental fusion methods. It is estimated that by washing your face, you will be able to confront the true divine slim. However, without the recognition of God's eye, it seems that I currently do not have the ability to unleash elemental power. It is completely impossible for me to spit out flames or fragrance. As the red sun rose, Gu Sancho, who followed the official road in a straight line, was extremely grateful for Qixing's workability. Apart from taking a shortcut at the beginning, Gu Sancho never saw any monsters like the Chiochio people. Boss, give me two portions of almond curd and one portion of grilled fish. I'm in a hurry. Oh, this is the guest's first time coming to our inn, isn't it? Phil Gadet smiled at Gu Sancho, who was sweating on his head, and said, two tofu and one grilled fish will be ready soon. Please wait a moment. In the kitchen, with a serious smile on his face, he stared at Gu Sancho, who was starting to drink tea. His right hand, holding the kitchen knife, did not relax for a moment. All right, they don't have any malice, it's just that the way they appear is quite peculiar. What's there to care about? Go cook now. The decadent uncle beside him patted Yan Xiao's shoulder and said, What if the boss blames the customer for waiting for too long? Pooh! Why don't you talk to me about being a freeloader every day? Smiling and cursing, he walked back to the stove and said, The people below haven't seen him at all. There's no telling how this guy got up. It would be terrible if there were any bad guys who wanted to take action against the inn. After packing two legendary weapons against mandarins, Gu Sancho casually took a few bites and jumped directly in front of everyone. Wow! Gu Sancho's back gently swayed, and a pair of golden and black patterned wings spread out, adjusting their direction and continuing towards the direction of Dihua Prefecture. The Wings of the Wind Philgodet looked thoughtfully in the direction of Gu Sancho's departure, and his right hand lightly slid on the counter, considering whether to include him in the intelligence log for this period of time. You can come to her without taking the elevator, and you can freely control the wings of the wind. In recent years, there is no such young person on the list of verified personnel. That is to say, this young person belongs to unlicensed driving. Are you from the direction of Liyue Port? Why hasn't such a guy even conveyed any intelligence? What Phil Gadet didn't know was that Gu Sancho was playing in the dark and was completely rushing towards this side at a furious speed all the way. Even if the Qianyan army detected his movements, the intelligence department considered the identity of this person as a worshipper of incense. With a set of operations, even if it was rushed, the speed of intelligence would definitely not be comparable to that of Gu Sancho. Hurry up, hurry up, why are you still arriving at your destination at this time? It's annoying. Gu Sancho glanced at the color of the sunset, then glanced at Wawangpo, 
whose main color was clearly not quite right, and without hesitation, entered it. But entering Wawangpo alone at this time is no different from the characters in ghost movies who perform stunts to death. Why, do you think you're the protagonist with an immortal body and countless substitutes for the dead? But the walnut girl is still inside. If it weren't for the fact that Wawangpo has no problems all year round, such a large grave head would probably have been flattened long ago. However, the weak points of the yin and yang realms may not be easily actionable. Glancing casually at the small flame flickering with a faint luster beside him, Gu Sancho gently blew a breath at it. Bang, the small blue flame grew quite noticeably, and it seemed to trigger a switch. Blue flames from all over flew rapidly towards Gu Sancho's position, with a strong aura of surrounding him. Sigma, I'll go. Are you guys bees or ants in your last life? This is completely different from the family record. Gu Sancho quickly ran away. Just now, he took a breath and let these in attribute flames taste a bit of popularity, which is a relatively evil type of Dabudan. But what I didn't expect was such a level of consequence. Faced with the blue light spots in the sky, Gu Sancho could only give a signal to the sky and run away, causing these guys to riot. Even if Walnut came, he would feel nervous, let alone a mortal like him who couldn't even use his divine eye. Oh, roar! In a small dilapidated house not far away, the Walnut who heard the sound of signal flares looked up at the sky. When she saw the golden fireworks, a happy smile appeared on her face. Hee hee, the helper is here. Immediately afterwards, a red signal flare rose into the air and exploded a fleeting flower. Found the direction. As Gu Sancho ran wildly, she glanced in the direction of the signal flare and almost twisted her neck. A rapid whistling sound came from Gu Sancho's mouth, and at this moment, an angry bird cry came from the sky. The sound of piercing clouds and cracking rocks shook the blue light spots in the sky behind Gu Sancho. The giant shadow sculpture descended from the sky, carrying a black evil wind that fiercely slammed into the front, blowing away the blue flames that had already formed a wall of fire. His eyes did not conceal their almost explosive killing intent. Who? Indeed, at a critical moment, it still depends on you. Gu Sancho breathed a sigh of relief. This time, he really did it to death. He didn't expect that breathing in at that thing would cause such serious consequences. If that's the case, he would have extinguished the two life flames on his shoulder before entering Wu Wu Slope, but it's unclear whether these old traditions have any effect. Let's go, let's go find the walnuts. The rest of the way is up to you. Half an hour later, Gu Sancho easily found the goal of this trip, and this silly girl sat on the ground, swaying and enjoying herself. What are you calling me to come over and do? The weather has turned cold, so why don't you put some cushion on it before sitting down? Gu Sancho reached out and the giant shadow sculpture flew high again, monitoring all suspicious movements in the surrounding area. Wow, what a handsome bird, I want it. Hu Tao grabbed Gu Sancho's arm with starlight in his eyes and said, Hey hey, can you give me one as a gift after your blackbird has a child? From now on, it will be the brand endorsement bird of Shersheng Tang. With such a handsome big guy, our business at Shersheng Hall will definitely be even more prosperous, he 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 he. Speak, speak, speak. The transition chapter may be a bit boring, so I tried to write as much as possible, there is a second chapter. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Wawangpo Abnormal Movement. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Wawampo Abnormal Movement Gu Sancho mercilessly poked Walnut's forehead with his fingertips. If you come to my house in such a strange way at night, and you just want me to be a delivery guy to deliver delicious food to you, I can only say, see how I handle you. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm really hungry. Hu Tao sat on the ground and smiled as he opened his arms to Gu Sancho, saying, I'm hungry. Sancho, help me get up to eat. Tisk. Gu Sancho looked at the walnut in disgust, but he reached out his hand and gently pulled her up, then took out two plates of delicate almond curd. 
I bought it from Wang Shuin. Feel free to eat some cushions and let me know what happened to Wawangpo. Gu Sancho's mouth twitched and said, There is a record in the family scriptures that blowing a breath into these blue soul fires will only make that little thing keep up with you for a while. I just tried and ended up being chased by a bunch of soul flames. If you say there's no problem here, I won't believe it. Hee <laughs> hee, Sancho, you have too much courage. Even though you know that Wawangpo may have problems, you still have to die. I really admire and admire you. Hu Tao bowed to Gu Sancho with his hands clasped together, and then quickly explained the reason for his visit to Wawangpo before the other person's face had completely darkened. Just as the two of them came out of the confinement room, Hu Tao received a tip-off from Wawangpo. It is said that someone saw many red light spots on Wawangpo, and below these light spots, there were some dry corpses that made people feel numb walking slowly, surrounded by the remains of animals. The personnel stationed at Wawangpo in the Shersheng Hall immediately investigated and confirmed the truth of the matter. They immediately reported it to Hu Tao and asked the hall master to handle these matters. So, really not to avoid my bill. Also, what exactly is the situation with Wawangpo? Is it a real dot life version of a biochemical crisis? Oh no, according to the style of Li Yue, this should be called a zombie or a zombie. Gu Sancho's face couldn't hold back. If it weren't for holding back just now, he almost wanted to tell Hu Tao that the best way to deal with those guys was to blow his head. Should it be useful, right? Wu Wangpo belongs to the border area between the human world and the underworld, and soul fire, mass graves, and supernatural events have always been the standard features of this place. But Gu Sancho frowned and tried to think about the incident of walking corpses injuring people, and it was also recorded on the land of Liyue. Gone, the emergence of this thing can be traced back to the period of the demon god war, right? So, are you asking me to subdue demons and subdue demons? Gu Sancho pointed to himself and said, Look clearly, I, a small incense worshipper, although not powerless, I really don't have much combat power. Slightly, big scammer. Hu Tao made a face at Gu Sancho and said, you can deceive others, can you still deceive me? If you really don't have the fighting ability, then you will show me the way you used the golden shrimp balls last time. My guest has said that you are not weak. Have you ever heard of the name, Zhongli, in the Hall of Passing Away? I know astronomy above and geography below. This is a big facade for me to earn extra income and cultural literacy in the Hall of Passing Away. Walnut raised his chest proudly with his hands on his hips. How about that? Is there anything else you want to argue with? There's no judge here, I'll allow you to say a few more words. Hu Tao saw that Gu Sancho had no reaction at all, so she curiously looked over. Hey, why did you sweat so much during Sancho? What's wrong with you? Oh, oh, done. This is Gu Sancho's first reaction. When did he get noticed by Grandpa Zhongli? He really doesn't have any feelings about it. From another perspective, the gods are watching you, and as an ant, how could you possibly know? If I had been discovered what I looked like before the two souls merged into one, wouldn't I? Is there really any supernatural event in this Wawangpo? Isn't it a deliberate setting? There won't be a few immortals hiding behind their backs, just wait until they reveal their flaws and pull them back to torture them severely. So, what else did that Zhong Kaching say? Hu Tao looked suddenly enlightened and said, Oh, so you're afraid of him, Anna Anna. Although that guy may be a fairy who has traveled through the world, he is still my guest in the afterlife hall. Does this ancient and mysterious guy know that Zhong Li is the same old man? Omega. Underscore, Gu Tao smiled and touched Gu Sancho's head, saying, It's okay. I'll introduce you to meet again another day. Zhong Li is very kind. This is not a matter of whether a person is good or not. Gu Sancho closed her eyes and then looked firmly at Hu Tao, saying, So, tell me what happened. Since it was your commission, I will definitely do my best. Mind him, just live in my own way, it's just another death. 
Having experience makes one less afraid, although it sounds a bit dark and humorous. Hee hee, I knew Sancho was a good person. Hu Tao excitedly patted Gu Sancho's shoulder and said, So, have you brought my weapon over? Oh, I'm just a porter. Gu Sancho smiled and lightly shook his right hand twice. The inexplicable golden dots that flew out turned into a long-handled cane with a black and red tone as the main tone. I have coated you with a protective film using the powder ground from the teeth of a thousand-year-old electric toothed shark. When attacking, it can also cause lightning damage. This maintenance can last for one or two years. Gu Sancho hesitated for a moment and said, Well, although you may find me verbose, when I was taking care of this thing, I still found something unusual. Use your move sparingly. Hu Tao was stunned for a moment, then snatched the weapon and looked at Gu Sancho with a wary expression, like a stolen hamster. I said, maintaining and protecting the motorcycle, was a promise from your Gu family to the Shirsheng Tang before, but you even managed to get me extra items. Hu Tao carefully scrutinized Gu Sancho's expression and said, Well, there shouldn't be any extra charges, right? A thousand years ago, this kind of thing sounds very expensive at first glance. I guess I can't even afford this price even if I sell the afterlife hall. Don't worry, that's my own inventory and I won't charge you money. Although he was very reckless, Gu Sancho still wanted to say that if you sell Zhongli to me, you can offset the debt. Yeah. A high cry instantly boosted the spirits of the two, as a giant shadow eagle in the sky warned them that an abnormal situation was approaching. Hey, is this actually your own collection? You, a guy who doesn't even go out of Liyue port, actually has such a good thing. Walnut clenched her protective staff, and a faint red butterfly began to swirl around her. Well, the source is a bit difficult to explain, but it's really my own thing. Item. Teeth of Electric Toothed Shark Source. Sea of Thunder Ponds Note. One of the dominant ethnic groups in the sea area directly below Lechi in Wanxiang Town, the powder ground from teeth is one of the excellent materials for forging, but few people can extract teeth from the shark's mouth. This should be one of the best things he has obtained. He secretly coated the powder on the kitchen knife with a thin layer, and the cut ingredients directly gave him a sense of electricity. If it weren't for the lack of fire at that time, the Gu family's kitchen would have had an overload reaction. Red dots began to flicker in the distance, and Gu Sancho let out a whistle. The giant shadow sculpture in the sky descended, but it did not fall on his shoulder. They have an advantage in having air combat power, but it's better not to let it come down easily. The main reason for the height drop is to allow the giant shadow eagle to react more quickly to enemy attacks, and leave more reaction time for Walnut and himself. By the way, if there's really a fight later, remember to blow your head off. Gu Sancho took out the demon slaying revolver, his expression gradually becoming indifferent. End of this chapter. Chapter 736 Strategies Lucky Escape You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 736 Strategies Lucky Escape, Pop Your Head Is this a record from the Gu family's classics? Not really, my personal opinion is for reference only. Gu Sancho pinched the left-hand seal and a rune-emitting iron-gray marks slowly merged into the left wheel. Demon subduing left will supporting auxiliary technique. Bullet with magic technique iron gray rune. Sharp enchantment guided by weapons, this is the only spell that Gu Sancho can use now. Tivet constructs heaven and earth based on the seven elements as the cornerstone principle. If he wants to do some further operations, he can only pass on the knowledge of alchemy synthesis from an unknown era or have the eye of God. Yeah. Seeing stiff figures walking towards their masters, the giant shadow sculpture let out another cry, spread its huge wings, and flew over. The roaring wind directly overturned several enemies ahead. Normal modern clothing should not be the result of ancient evil spirits. So the problem is, it's not that simple for a normal person's body to become a blood-loving zombie. When he saw this quantity, he felt something was wrong. 
Seeing that the walnut had already rushed out, Gu Sanxiu could only raise the volume to remind the other party. Be careful, these guys couldn't have met the conditions to become zombies, there must be something strange behind them. Got it, you're so talkative, Sanxiu. Walnut held his staff with both hands, turning into a crimson light and shadow that swept over the stiff-paced corpses. The flames on the walnuts did not completely burn their clothes, but these ordinary zombies stood still as if they had been cast at a mobilization spell. Is this the power of protecting the Buddha, purifying the soul and even at the fundamental level? Gu Sancho repeatedly pulled the trigger, and after finishing the fight, the giant shadow sculpture landed again, giving him enough time to reload his bullets. Shoo! In the distance, a dark blue arrow shot towards the giant shadow sculpture. The cold air emanating from this arrow made Gu Sancho shudder. It was an arrow completely condensed from Yin fire. Ordinary people, not to mention being shot, even if they have a slight scratch on their skin, three years of serious illness is the best outcome. Even if the giant shadow sculpture is already considered a half-headed spirit beast, it feels uncomfortable to be shot like this. Dodge. Giant shadow sculpture responded much faster than Gu Sancho. The first time it saw this thing, it knew that it could not carry it, but tried to adjust its angle in the air to avoid this arrow. Pup, a few feathers drifted down from the sky, and the giant shadow eagle let out a mournful cry. Its body fell towards Gu Sancho, but ultimately, due to its size, the Yin rocket did not completely dodge. Damn it! Girl! I understand, leave this to me. The crimson flames returned to Gu Sancho's side, and Hu Tao stared seriously at the enemy in front of her, while extending her attention to a part. She also saw the Yin rocket, and if she were to be shot by a cold shot later, that would be a lot of fun. Gu Sancho quickly caught the giant shadow sculpture and sat down on the ground under the impact of gravity. But he didn't care about these things either, and quickly opened the area where the giant shadow sculpture was shot to take a look. It's okay, it's just a little torn. After seeing the wound shimmering with a faint blue light, Gu Sancho breathed a sigh of relief. This thing is much easier to treat than penetrating injuries. Take out a treasure pill and crush it. Gu Sancho gently sprinkled the powder near the wound, allowing it to suck out the yin fire that corrodes the flesh inside the wound. Sancho, are you okay? There are more and more enemies. Hurry up and use your ability to defeat demons and demons as a worshipper. To be reasonable, doesn't the person who worships incense sound like a scholar with no binding power? Why do you think I have the ability to subdue demons and subdue demons? Wait, you said there are more and more enemies. Gu Sancho was taken aback for a moment, but quickly stood up and shot quickly. At the same time, he took out a large handful of talismans from his waist and threw them out. Smoke, dust, thunder, and fire began to erupt with tremendous power. Secret Technique Kelly Up Explosive Ghost Talent 2 Application Online I forgot to ask you, what exactly is the composition of the place where we are standing? Or let me put it another way, what exactly attracts them to you? After I came in, I came straight to find you. It's impossible that I did something outrageous. Nonsense, didn't you go to bully soul fire? Hu Tao's voice grew lower and lower, and in the end, butterflies surrounded her and once again rushed into the group of zombies, avoiding being exposed to Gu Sancho's increasingly dangerous gaze. I, 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 it's really your pot. Hu Tao knows very well. Whether before or now, in his memory, as long as this little girl's voice gets lower and lower, it means that it's probably her problem. What's the reason behind it? Aren't you provoking some fierce old monster? If it weren't for Walnut's dedication, he would have wanted to ask if this guy had dug up the graves of these zombies. Where is there? Under Gu Sancho's indiscriminate bombing, a large area of zombies was cleared, while Hu Tao was forced to stand back by his teammates' attacks. Where did that big monster come from? I haven't even provoked him yet. After hearing these words, Gu Sancho frowned and said, 
what does you haven't provoked him yet? You wouldn't want to tell me that the next action is to go to hell. Hu Tao clenched her left hand and lightly tapped her head, then spat out her tongue at Gu Sancho. Hey, you really understand me, it's truly the three autumn festival. Selling cuteness is ineffective. Tell me what's going on now. We are actually standing on the head of the big monster you mentioned right now. Sigma, Walnut's words seemed to open some strange button, and the ground began to rumble and tremble, while the remaining group of corpses retreated step by step, as if something terrifying was about to break through Gu Sancho's feet. This is not as if, this is clearly a affirmation. Before the appearance of the final boss in this dungeon, the visuals that were no different from movie-level cutscenes made Gu Sancho's hair stand on end. Dark blue flames spewed out from the ground like geysers, and a single Ian rocket could make the giant shadow eagle lose its combat power, let alone its scale. That so dot called old monster is really under their feet. That is to say, just now, walnuts were eating almond curd on people's heads. Rounding around is even more excessive than bouncing over graves. Put away your weapons. Hu Tao and naturally believed Gu Sancho's judgment and quickly came to his side after putting away the protective moat. It's impolite, girl. Gu Sancho placed the giant shadow sculpture in Hu Tao's hand, then wrapped one hand around her waist, and with a gentle shake of the other hand, he took out a bottle containing a flowing green gas and smashed it onto the ground. Ha, huh, the surging sound of the wind appeared out of thin air after the bottle shattered. The wings of the wind behind Gu Sancho spread in the wind, and the strong wind from bottom to top quickly led the two of them away from the land under their feet. Phew, two Ian rockets shot towards Gu Sancho, but the black streaks and radiance on the wind wings circulated, forming a barrier in front of them. The Ian rocket shot up and caused ripples, but it didn't break through this barrier. Instead, Gu Sancho used this force to once again move away from this place. Before leaving, he glanced down to see what level of thing could make such a big noise. Below, accompanied by a geyser-like soul fire calming down, a sturdy iron-gray steed emerged from the ground, its crimson eyes flickering with a terrifying light. On the back of the galloping horse, a big man wearing armor also had fierce red eyes flashing, roaring with murderous intent as he watched Gu Sancho leave in the direction. End of this chapter Chapter 8 The Eye of Legacy You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 The Eye of Legacy After seeing what was underground, Gu Sancho flew towards the distance without looking back. That thing was either a bandit or a warlord who controlled the country during his lifetime. At the very least, he had to be a military leader, otherwise he wouldn't have obtained such a set of equipment. As for the Ian rocket that ambushed the giant shadow sculpture, it's reasonable for this guy to wake up and have a few former guards inside the zombie, isn't it? Or, to put it another way, he forced himself to believe that it was reasonable and convinced himself that escaping was much more courageous than staying in place. Arriving at a safe place, Gu Sancho gently put down the walnut and then picked up the giant shadow sculpture to examine its injuries. Well, the Ian fire should have dissipated now, but in such a place, it is easy to cause abnormal reactions in the wound. Gu Sancho once again crushed a treasure pill to stabilize the injury, and then took out a bandage for a more detailed bandage. Sancho, I feel so painful and sad all over. Hu Tao leaned over half of his face pressed against Gu Sancho's shoulder, and his eyes flickered with a look called, If you don't care, I'll cry for you. Gu Sancho's index finger touched Hu Tao's forehead and said, Don't act cute for me. You're not injured, I've paid attention to that. Cut, you're such a boring man Gu Sancho's forehead bulging with veins, so, this interesting girl, can you tell me what exactly you're up to? I'm glad I brought the wings of the wind when I came out this time. If it weren't for a disposable wind trap in my hand, we wouldn't be able to run that horse with our speed. Being fully prepared is indeed a good helper for the journey. No, I didn't expect this incident to become so serious either. Hu Tao said solemnly, we thought it was just a simple corpse disaster, but we didn't expect it to be a big guy of this level. 
corpse disaster. Well, as of border, Wawangpo is not a secret among those with status and strength. There are always some people who want to use various methods to find the so dot called entrance and steal the secrets and wealth of another world. The zombies unconsciously move around, and some people expect them to find their way through the instincts of the deceased. Before Liyue calms down, there are even people indiscriminately killing civilians, guiding them through their recently departed souls. Tisk, feudal society, I'll go. Gu Sancho clasped his hands together and bowed, Grandpa Zhongnyo. So, do you think this time it's not a human error, but a product that naturally mutates in this place? Gu Sancho wanted to understand the details, which would make it much easier to handle. After all, there is still a difference between dealing with guys bitten by spiders and those injected with serum. Although the possibility of natural occurrence cannot be ruled out, it is highly likely to be human-made. Sure enough. Gu Sancho knew in his heart that if the wealth of Liyue port made ordinary people in the world tempted, the value of Wawangpo was to make some people with ulterior motives have ideas. Just now I took a look, and even if that level of guy is the Qianyan army, he will have to pay a little price to solve it. Gu Sancho began checking the inventory in his backpack and said, I know the rules of your ancestral hall, so can you get some helpers or something from outside now? The guests are all busy, otherwise this action should be much more convenient. Hu Tao looked distressed and said, next to me is Qingzi Manor. Without any high dot level helpers, it's impossible to take the path of Shemen to the Adventurers Association in Mon to release a bounty. Gu Sancho sighed and said, so, is it considered invalid to want to find a helper in a short period of time? Hee hee, isn't there still you here? Stop it, stop it. When I came here, I didn't expect it to be an event of this level. I can already report it to seven stars and let them solve it. Gu Sancho scratched her hair and said, so, there is actually another way to increase our combat power now, but it will take some time. You need to help me protect the Dharma. After speaking, Gu Sancho took out a dark golden gemstone. In the center of the gemstone, a mysterious grayish-yellow pattern was flickering with a faint light. Oh, this is not the one you care about, that one, that's right, this is the legendary eye of my Gu family, just like the protective staff of your afterlife hall. Gu Sancho casually took out a food box and threw it to Hu Tao, saying, help me protect the Dharma. I want to try again to pull the power of the eye of God. Oh, come on, free autumn. Degree, that thing is for you to eat and has a healing effect. Gu Sancho sat down and sat down. When the previous Gu Sancho was still alive, he couldn't use the power of the divine eye. Now that he has successfully merged his two souls, there should be no such problem. Ancestors witness, immortals witness. In the eyes of the world, the grayish-yellow patterns light up and gradually occupy the entire gemstone, rendering it into an inconspicuous lump of earth. What exactly is the definition of element? Dot? As for Gu Sancho, the construction of the seven elements in the Tivit continent is undoubtedly the same common sense as described by Babados does not do anything serious, where both humans and things are unchanging truths. But as another Gu Sancho, it can be said that the seven elements make up the world, and even the theory of yin and yang is similar to the theory of the four elements and the five elements. As for each person being able to activate only one elemental force. If it weren't for daring to die, Gu Sancho could have captured a bunch of theoretical knowledge in just a few minutes and played the game of hundred schools of thought in Liyue. Even if I were an official employee of Liyue and the only descendant of the Fengxiang lineage, it is estimated that Master Wuxian will not be able to protect himself. Given the facts, if someone wants to interfere with the fate of this world, something big will definitely happen. Two souls are independent of each other, but they belong to a coexisting state, which is a major reason why Gu Sancho is unable to activate the Eye of God. As for the other one, Gu Sancho did not want the single attribute of the Divine Eye to limit his future growth direction. But now it seems that countless experiments have proven one thing. Unless he can take out a lotus root level treasure from that black hole and make Neza his brother, 
if he wants to use extraordinary power in Tibet, he can only accept the eye of God. Accepting the eye of God, accepting elemental power, truly integrating into this world. Gu Sancho was still hesitating, but then his eyes opened a gap and he saw the giant shadow sculpture resting on the side, the walnut holding a protective motorcycle standing beside him, and the food box not moving at all. Suddenly, he made up his mind. Do you still want the girl to use the secret technique of the afterlife hall? It's something that burns her life. At least, I want those who care about me to live a more comfortable life. The grayish-yellow light gradually transforms in the gemstone, gradually condensing into a symbol representing the elemental power of rock. The Eye of God, or rather the hereditary Eye of the Gu family, recognized Gu Sancho. Gu Sancho couldn't see, and Hu Tao was protecting the Dharma. What neither of them noticed was that below the rock element power symbol, a pure black dragon had only appeared for a moment, and then disappeared into the dark gold of the gemstone. End of this chapter Chapter 9 When Searching for a Venue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 When Searching for a Venue, Call Out Gu Sancho let out a long breath, and even a clear airflow could be seen on the chilly Wu Wu slope. Sancho, wake up. Hurry up, tell me if you succeeded. Gu Sancho did not answer, but instead hung the eye of the world around his waist and told Hu Tao his achievements through his actions. People who have truly gained recognition from the eye of God usually wear it on their bodies, similar to the protective headgear issued by certain village committees. Of course, there are also some scheming monsters who hide their divine eyes and have no trace of them in their daily lives. Hello, your family's divine eye should have many powerful features. Show me it quickly. Isn't your family's basic education not very successful? Isn't the eye of God building a channel? There's no one in this world who can start a big move just by getting the eye of God. Gu Sancho moved his wrist and a chilling smile appeared on his face. Let's go, it took so much time. Now it's time to go find some trouble for that guy. Wait a minute. Walnut tiptoed up and raised his right hand, let me finish my meal first. Item. Cotton candy beef full meal bento source. Canteen of Kanghaman 15th Hope Primary School Effect. Supplementing nutrition for children who are working hard at the starting line note. Although I don't really want to admit that this chewy meat is beef, it is indeed more suitable for children's digestive system. Watching Hu Tao's chopsticks swing so fast, Gu Sancho felt a little worried that this guy might even eat a bento box. Have a good bento. Hu Tao looked up at Gu Sancho, with a few grains of rice on his lips and said, Sancho, can you do it every day in the future? Sure, just give me the money. Cut, my family's guest, Zhongli, has said that a man who is meticulous cannot find a significant other don't worry, if my memory doesn't go wrong, your guest Qin doesn't have a significant other either. Similarly, it can be proven that the guest is also a meticulous person. Cross out, I'm willing to. Gu Sancho lightly tapped the legendary eye on his waist, and a dark yellow light flew out of it, transforming into small gray yellow mice scattered around. Magic, detective mouse I can fish once a day, and these strange little techniques can finally be used. I'm happy. Gu Sancho's spiritual power followed the little mice towards the direction of the zombies, and from the perspective of elemental power, both black and red gases were reducing the physical size of the mice along the way. TSK, what kind of ghost is this? Wawangpo has not been cleared of resentment for years. The matter was urgent, and Gu Sancho didn't think the zombies had any intelligence. A team of detection mice gathered together directly, and the huge power of Iwamoto Su dispelled the resentment along the way, seeing the place where the two had just fought. In that area, the soil slopes were flattened, trees were cut down, and a flat school field was cleared out in the mountains and forests. And the guy who crawled out of the soil was riding on his own warhorse, patrolling the school field over and over again. 
People holding tattered weapons or various types of corpses are slowly walking towards the school field from all directions, gradually forming a relatively neat queue under some guidance. If only one person is wearing armor, it should be possible to rule out being a soldier. The queue of these guys also looks like something is deterring them. A little mouse turned its head and said, let me see what this guy really looks like. Brush. After a sharp cut, Gu Sancho opened his eyes and gently rubbed his head. Let's go find the venue. I already know the location. Hey. Did those guys not scatter around to find blood food? Yes, that's why it makes people feel a bit uneasy. We need to do it as soon as possible. When will I take action? I can't wait anymore. I'll take action first. When other zombies want to help, you can rush out and clean up those little ones. Remember to hit hard directly. If these things are really manipulated, it's better to send them out as soon as possible. After speaking, Gu Sancho jumped up and quickly condensed the power of the rock element in his hand into a long stick, smashing it towards the walking corpse on the warhorse. Roar. After seeing Gu Sancho, the warhorse zombie let out a loud roar, and the sound of the unfinished vocal cords was comparable to a typical sound wave attack, not to mention the black bad breath that followed the sound wave. The weapon in the hand of the warhorse zombie collided with Gu Sancho's long stick, and the power of the physical collision made him directly hit into a stagnant state for a short period of time. Damn it, so zombies are disgusting enough. It's really troublesome. I just got the strength to deal with this old cured meat. After a single blow, Gu Sancho realized that his physical strength was not an advantage, and that he had already taken advantage of it. He had no choice but to strike the opponent and kill him, he had to find a different way. Gu Sancho fell to the ground, and the subordinates on the side opened their mouths when they saw him. Several of them even dropped their chin on the ground, and a dangerous red light began to shine in their eyes. Hee hee, do you want to eat me? As the zombies of the warhorses charged again, other small minions also rushed towards Gu Sancho, like a pack of hyenas hunting for food. Then you must also have that fate. The time has come. The head of this hall is here. Hu Taojiao let out a shout, and the protective staff in her hand waved tightly. The pure fire inherited from ancient times tightly surrounded a group of walking corpses, leaving only the big guy in front of Gu Sancho. With the protection of the protective motorcycle, Gu Sancho doesn't have to worry about the attack of the Ian rocket at all, and can confront this big guy head dot on without any hesitation. And the outer zombies are even simpler. Without the command of the big guy inside, these guys can only be considered as some stinky fish and rotten shrimp in front of the head of the afterlife hall. The dull sound of breaking through the air was constantly heard by Gu Sancho, and the long stick formed by the condensation of elemental power was like a snake spitting out its message, successfully hitting the armor of the walking corpse each time. Occasionally, when charging closer, Gu Sancho would hit the body of the warhorse directly with a stick. But this big guy clearly had a mutation, and even with a single strike from Iwamoto Suli, his movements were not affected. The long sword in the hand of the warhorse zombie flickered with a faint cold light, and as it slashed towards Gu Sancho, it pulled out a long light strip, which was obviously a top-dot-notch antique that could make some guy's eyes shine. Ha! The sword light once again struck, and the warhorse under the corpse's crotch opened its big mouth and bit directly at Gu Sancho's body. I'm not sure about the timing, but I have both the advantages of location and people. How can you fight me? What's wrong with flying dragon riding face? Pooh. Gu Sancho quickly regained his composure and retreated to avoid the attack. In an instant, the long stick in his hand disintegrated and merged into the earth around the walking corpse. A scene of Xuanxi appeared, and a earthy yellow halo suddenly lit up in the parts where Gu Sancho hit. Thin chains of earth and stone crawled out of it, firmly restricting the movement of the zombies and warhorses. And the cracked long stick erupted immediately after merging into the earth, transforming into one ground spike after another, piercing the enemy through more than ten holes and forcing it to stay in mid-air. 
Dust Lock Demon Suppression Formation Strands of golden runes entwined on the thorns and chains, making a hissing sound on the enemy's body and emitting unpleasant black smoke. The group of zombie warhorses, who were still struggling, instantly calmed down. The Fengxiang people do not have much combat power, but the former Xianmen leader did. The outer circle is a flame created by Hu Tao's protective moat circle, while the inner circle is a demon subduing array built by Gu Sancho's Yin moves. The guy who was originally afraid to defeat the enemy has now become something in his pocket. Unexpectedly, lying flat has become a sensitive term these days. The Xianyu lying flat true gentleman in the introduction has been blocked, and the explanation posts posted on the book circle seem to have disappeared, even the pinyin is not good ha. Huh? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 New Ingredients Get You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 New Ingredients Get Have You Finished On Your End I've dealt with it pretty much here. Butterfly fire ignites the prairie. With a flick of Hu Tao's protective moat, a circle of flames transformed into a crimson flying butterfly flew in all directions, using a full screen AoE to take away the remaining health of the monsters on the field. I guess you want to burn it together with me. Gu Sancho made a sharp squat and quickly used rock elements to make a steel helmet for himself, saving his beautiful hair. Hee <laughs> hee, how could it be? The protective staff in Hu Tao's hand turned into a golden light and drifted away. Speaking of which, what should we do next? Do you have any channels to deal with this big guy like Gu's family? Can't you call someone to come over and bury him on the spot? With the dust lock demon suppression formation, this thing will only slowly dissipate. Burying it on the spot should be the best result, right? Wait a minute. Gu Sancho glanced thoughtfully at these walking corpses. He has always used a matching fishing rod to fish for things inside a black hole. So the question is, if you stuff some strange things into a black hole, will there be any reaction inside? Black holes have always been able to open and close freely, but apart from the check.in time, even if they list a bunch of good and dirty words to output, or throw stones, these things have no response. If the thing thrown is this kind of valuable goods, will this black hole have any other reaction? Well, I really have a solution, but the little girl may not be suitable for watching the follow.up process. Gu Sancho looked at the walnut with a smile on his face and said, Do you understand what I mean? Cut, stingy man. After seeing the bulging veins on Gu Sancho's forehead, Hu Tao's mouth curled and he obediently ran to the distance. All right, all right, I know you have a lot of secrets about your family, so I don't have to worry about the overall situation, right? Thank you for your understanding. Gu Sancho relaxed. If anyone else, considering their identity as a worshipper of incense, could say something to cover it up. But walnuts are not good. As the head of the rebirth hall, she knows or even understands many things, and Gu Sancho cannot find a good reason to deceive her. For example, when explaining the origin of a black hole to others, he can use excuses such as sacrificing to the rock emperor to avoid it. But for Hu Tao if, when going back to brag, Hu Tao accidentally said, the story of me and the incense offering man slaying demons and eliminating demons in those years, and it was very coincidentally heard by an old man Gu Sancho thought that if nothing unexpected happened, he should be able to see Zhongli standing at his doorstep blocking people the next day. No, 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 stabilize development. Considering the size of the black hole, Gu Sancho chose to move closer to his golden finger, which had a weak sense of existence. Well, because 80% or 90% of what comes out goes into the stomach. Whoosh, after Gu Sancho's ideas were put into reality, his golden fingers were even more face-saving than he had imagined, and the warhorse zombies and mature corpses next to him were almost instantly sucked in. Well, it seems that the guest subject should be correct. Almost instantly, a sense of danger originating from the underworld sounded an alarm in Gu Sancho's heart, and his body almost instantly darted backwards. Cluck cluck. A difficult-to-hear roar came from the black hole, and a monster over three meters tall, 
about the size of a motorhome, rushed out from inside and pecked at Gu Sancho's head fiercely. What's going on here? Your grandfather's. This is the first time a living creature has jumped out that doesn't listen to itself. And it's clearly the kind of ferocious beast that wants to kill itself. The thing in front of me, which is barely considered a chicken, has half of its body covered in scales and the other half covered in feathers. The position of the rooster's crown is like a circle of weeds being crushed back and forth by giants, and there are also large and small meat buns on its body. What's even more outrageous is the legs of this strange chicken, which are so thick that people wonder if it was maliciously p.s. by the creator. But after being surprised, his reaction was not slow either. He immediately took out a golden fishing rod and threw it at the head of this ugly monster chicken. Since it is something that emerged from inside, it is imaginable that one's fishing rod must have a huge suppressive force on this thing. At this time, the elemental power that still clings to the divine eye is definitely a fool. Sancho, what's going on here? Why did I hear that? When Hu Tao saw the strange chicken in front of Gu Sancho, her eyes widened instantly, and then she leaned weakly against the branch, lazy to move. Omega Angle, underscore, Sancho, come on, hurry up and kill this monster. This guy is so ugly that I don't have the strength anymore. Then you should come and help. Oh my, I didn't expect to be attacked by my appearance. What a cunning monster. I'm weak, Sancho. Please save me. Privacy dishes, Gu Sancho swung his right hand fiercely, and the golden fishing rod in his hand flickered with even more dazzling light. At this moment, the faint yellow rock element power in the eyes of the world slowly integrated into the fishing rod. Boom! A violent explosion came from the depths of Wuangpo, and the surrounding Qianyan army couldn't help but be startled, as they soon turned their gaze to the direction of Wuangpo. Is this an explosion of evil resentment inside? Fortunately, they soon found out the answer. A young man dragged a monster with a mutated physique out of it, followed by a girl wearing a black hat. Hee hee, Sancho, you are indeed very impressive. Come and be my guest in the Hall of Passing Away in the future. If there are any problems, I can directly contact you. Come on, can you afford my salary? Gu Sancho takes a look at the strange chicken at the end of the fishing line, and has to sigh that the golden finger is indeed a golden finger. The toughness of the fishing line is quite awesome. After he killed this thing, things like the name of the strange chicken were also recognized. Name Wagata Giant Legged Chicken Source Wilderness Realm Usage What else can I do besides eating note? As a representative of the ugly lineage, the Ugata giant legged chicken has always wanted to be included in the research scope of scholars from the bird and animal lineage. Until the deliciousness of this giant legged chicken was discovered, scholars from these two schools began a long dispute and argument over whether to include the giant legged chicken in their own research scope. There's something in this note, I feel like I know something amazing about the upper academic community. In fact, Gu Sancho has always been very curious. He doesn't say anything because of roast, but sometimes he can see many things by combining the source analysis. The time of the giant shadow sculpture, and this time, if my golden finger were a guidebook, wouldn't the guy or sister who made notes for the guidebook really be beaten to death by burlap? How do you address this young hero? Let me put this question aside for now. Have you received the letter my pet sent you? Qian Yan Jun arched his hand and said, a total of eight individuals with abnormal operations were captured, all of whom were sealed with the condensate of frost slime. All right, all right, truly worthy of the Qian Yan army. This set of operations is indeed very professional. Gu Sancho raised his hand to stop the other person from continuing, besides, if I go back, I will have to be caught by the Qian Yan army for tea again. This has been exposed. Ah. Degree degree, Upon hearing this sentence, the Qian Yan army was all stunned. Also. What exactly are you made of? Hey. So is that why you stopped others from calling you a young hero? 
They were on duty outside and didn't quite understand the recent news at Liyue port, nor did they distinguish that the young man in front of them, dressed in some stains, was a disciple of the incense ceremony. But this did not prevent the soldiers of the Qianyan army from unconsciously having the desire to catch this guy back. The issue with this speech is indeed too big. End of this chapter